call. <laughs> I just thought I'd uh, <laughs> just look at this. Yeah. <laughs> this oh, <laughs> there must be something in this Black's Law Dictionary. <laughs> now, but this uh, Williams Act of 1968, yes. <laughs> 1968 federal statute that had amended the Security Exchange Act of 1934 mm -hmm. by requiring investors who own more than 5% of the company's stock to furnish certain information to the SEC <laughs> <coughs> to comply with certain requirements. Mm -hmm. Now, I know when I did some research about the broker that I worked for, Horowitz & Associates, <laughs> there was a, a, a kind of a silent investor named Raphael L. Poach. <laughs> Could you go through the actual ownership? Yes, mm -hmm. of all those companies that um, have five percent or ten percent owned by somebody that nobody talks about. <laughs> now I know that um, when I left Horowitz and Associates, we, we did not leave on good terms, and I thought that Horowitz had something to say about that whole um, arbitration that I went through. Yes. Mm -hmm. But this reporting of the 5 to 10% of a company stock, you know, a lot of times they'll make up some weird name like Raffaello. <laughs> it has some top secret meaning to those that started the brokerage. <laughs> and it's an individual that really has a lot more power in the decision making, but doesn't say a lot unless they're concerned about how the company is going. Yes. Now, when you go through the SEC coach and the actual corporate ownership of every corporation in this nation, <laughs> I'm not concerned about those that own the 90% pooch. <laughs> I'm concerned about all those um, silent partners of all those companies that <laughs> thought that we would go the way of the dog poo. <laughs> now, I'm wanting my sons, <laughs> and a lot of times you say 5% ownership. Yes. <laughs> And it doesn't really describe who they are. And they set up some oh, LLC or LP or um, some other type of uh, of shelter. What's it called? It's like not a tax shelter. It's, it's where they don't get any dividends and they don't have any ownership, but they have 5% ownership. So if you sold the brokerage, they'd get a percentage of the actual ownership because of the value at the time of the sale. <laughs> Now, willful misconduct, pooch, and willful misconduct of an employee, my gosh. You couldn't say they're willful misconduct because they're not the employee and they're not the employer. They're the silent partners that make all the decisions, and whenever there's a big question, they realize their 5% ownership gives them a little right to say something about it. Now... When you go through the actual brokerage ownership of this great nation, just look through the 5 to 10% ownership and see why they're compensated. Because they really do have something to say. A lot of them don't get that annual income. A lot of them are waiting for that time. When, oh, oh, look at this. Winding up the process of settling accounts and liquidating assets in anticipation of a partnership's or a corporation's disillusion. <laughs> They're waiting for things to wind up so they can get all their money back from having invested in that company for the last 50 years. <laughs> I'd like to know the identity of all those silent partners that own 5 to 10% of any corporation. <laughs> and then in the last 40 years, how many of them wound up the corporation and <laughs> dissolved it, selling, liquidating the assets so they could get their fair share? <laughs> I think somebody's violating the Williams Act. Ooch. Um, you're not. Ah.